most exciting destination in all of northern Wisconsin. LCL Casino Lodge and Convention Center Hayward. LCO. Hello, I'm Kimberly. Welcome to the weekend edition of the Nave News Update. It's Friday, February 3rd. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for today from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. The Navajo Nation Human Rights Commission and a tribal delegate are advocating for the Navajo Nation to become an official member of the United Nations. Navajo Council Delegate Nathaniel Brown said non-governmental organizations and civil societies enjoy the privilege of participating in the United Nations, but indigenous nations are limited with regards to their participation. He said the UN must establish a new category to ensure that indigenous governing institutions are at least able to participate in all meetings to the fullest extent regarding issues that may affect their people, their land, territories, and resources. A tribal committee in early January passed a resolution to advocate for the special recognition status of the Navajo Nation before the UN. The Northern Arizona University recently received a $1 million gift from the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians to help provide essential support services to Native American students. The gift will fund new and continuing programs that support the university's outreach to and retention of Native American students. This is the second major gift from the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians. In 2009, the tribe donated $2 million to the university for construction of the Native American Cultural Center. Chad Hamill, Vice President for Native American Initiatives at Northern Arizona University, is hopeful this gift, along with the resources the university already has committed, will not only increase the number of Native American students enrolled, but also help them succeed in college and beyond. The Cherokee Nation W.W. Hastings Hospital is among a select few hospitals in the country nationally recognized for using electronic medical records and other technology to advance health services for patients. The Cherokee Nation received notification in January that it is now certified as a stage six hospital from the Chicago-based Health Information and Management System Society. The Cherokee Nation operates the largest tribal health system in the country. It oversees W.W. Hastings Hospital and nine other health centers in northeastern Oklahoma. In fiscal year 2016, the tribe had more than 1.1 million patient visits. The 154th anniversary of one of the largest mass killings of Native Americans was commemorated on January 29th. 100 plus spectators, including Shoshone tribal members, history buffs, politicians, and non-Native locals gathered in a small circle of trees tucked between two farms a few miles north of Preston, Idaho to commemorate the Bear River Massacre. On January 29th, 1863, Colonel P.E. Connors, commander at Fort Douglas, arrived on a snowy ridge with 220 cavalry troops ready to respond to complaints from nearby Mormon settlements of the Shoshone stealing horses and participating in general harassment. Hundreds of Shoshone were camped for a warm dance gathering, which was an event meant to hasting the warm weather of spring. Members of the camp spotted Connors and his troops at dawn. They began to prepare for an oncoming battle. Though Connors insisted that his intent was to negotiate when he and his cavalry saw the tribe beginning to evacuate and arm themselves, he opened fire and the massacre began with men, women, and children being killed without hesitation. Hikers hoping to see the Aquamarine Havasupi waterfalls this year can now book reservations online. The Havasupi tribe has launched a new website with online reservations for the 2017 season. Until now, the only way to make a camping reservation in Supi at the bottom of the Grand Canyon was to call. For more information, you can check out the official HavasupiTribe.com. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me, and have a grand day.